Well, looks like I ain't got to tell you who it is no more. You of all people, after everything you stand for, you preach, after all the things you said about we should get the genre together and all this shit, you have to end up like one of them. You know how disappointing that is, bro? Not just for me. You know how disappointing that is for the fucking listener? For the ones that grew up listening to this country rap shit? Bro, when I when I seen that comment, I was like, he knows it's him. I didn't even say a name in the video. He knows it's him. And you feel guilty, bro. And you know what? You should feel fucking guilty, dog. Because I ain't never done shit to you except for help you, bro. I'm the one who helped you get the courage to even do this shit in the first place. You've already admitted that before in a fucking interview, multiple interviews. All the times that I've, I've, I've done singles with you, albums, music videos, made content, a bunch of shit I didn't have to do, a bunch of shit where I stopped what I was doing to help you, a bunch of fucking time that I wasted helping a motherfucker who just wanted to backstab me like 90% of the other fucking people. And use the last one I thought it would be. The fact that you... The fact that there was diss tracks you made against me during the times you did is so fucking stupid. Like, bro, like I said, I ain't never done nothing to you, fool. And then during the times that these diss tracks and shit was made was during some of the like roughest times of my fucking life. By the way, these diss tracks never came out to anybody who's wondering. No, they were made, and then he would come hang out in my yard and smile in my fucking face. No wonder you're always fucking having anxiety, bro. Because you've been fucking hiding this shit for a long time. Even when I was fucking helping you. During a time when I was being sued in court by all these bums. Spending millions of dollars in court. During a time when I got robbed by my own fucking mother of fucking millions of dollars. Spent a bunch of money on fucking houses for fucking people that I didn't even know. During a time where she destroyed my fucking house. I'm still fucking re remodeling this house from her fucking it up. You and your buddies out here trying to fuck my shit up even more. You secretly making diss tracks and shit about me. <laughs> and then coming to my house and smiling in my face. <sighs> I've known about some shit for a while. I just didn't want to believe it. Especially since all the shit I've been through. The last thing I wanted to believe was that it was you being one of those shitty motherfuckers. But shit, I should have known. I should have took a hint. I mean, you're the middleman for every fucking thing, right? Middleman for the Bravo shit. Middleman for the Jelly Roll shit. Middleman for the Tom shit. Two weeks ago at my house, when you drove all the way when you drove all the way here in a fucking snowstorm, to tell me, hey man, you should work it out with Tom. A bunch of shit to benefit you more. And your click of motherfuckers trying to get rid of my ass and discredit me. After all the love I've showed y'all, you, and the other ones who's trying to do the same shit, discredit me and just fucking rob me and fucking try to make me look crazy and shit. For what? For what? So nobody would ever find out? What a waste of time. You know, you gotta be a shitty motherfucker to do that kind of shit while I'm going through all that. And you know what? I do got a fuck ton of shit on you and everybody else. 
Well, you've already admitted to being a shitty motherfucker towards me. And out of respect for your family, I ain't gonna release none of it. Because I'm a better man than you, bro. I just wanted to shed some light on how y'all motherfuckers do me in real life. And how y'all really be thinking about a motherfucker and treating a motherfucker. And now they know.